For the class of 2012, today is one of the most memorable moments of our lives. Today, we leave behind all we've ever known. And today, we begin the next leg of our journey. Throughout this chapter of our lives, we have been fortunate enough to have a caring mentor who has always been there for us. From the first day of school, this woman lovingly inherited us without hesitation. She helped mold us into young adults and into the graduating class of 2012. From New York City to Boston to Virginia Beach and all the way back home to Cherry Valley, this extraordinary lady helped make memories and cookies that I'm certain no student will forget. No matter how far we go or where we end up, we will always remember and appreciate the woman who believed in each and every one of us. Ladies and gentlemen, I couldn't be more thrilled and honored to introduce to you a woman that will be in our hearts forever, Mrs. Rhonda King. Their loveliness. 
A natural pearl begins its life as a foreign object, a piece of grit that accidentally lodges itself in the oyster's soft inner body, where it cannot be expelled. To lessen this irritation, the oyster's body takes defensive action. The oyster begins to secrete a smooth, hard substance around the irritant in order to protect itself. As long as the irritant remains within its body, the oyster will continue to produce layer upon layer around it. Over time, the result is a lovely gem called a pearl. I like to think of these students sitting behind me today as my pearls. They have rolled around inside school for 13 or 14 years, continually adding layer upon layer of knowledge and wisdom to their characters and personality. Both the pearl and wisdom seem like small objects, but they are both very valuable and take a long time to develop. I brought my jewelry box with me today. And with the help of a longtime friend of the class of 2012, I would like to share my pearl necklace. Thoughtful, and he says he fears nothing. 
The famous scientist Marie Curie said, nothing is what in life is to be feared. It is only to be understood. Instead of being afraid of something, learn about it. John Mark Benny appreciates good food and people with good food. He taught me that food is our common ground, a universal experience. The author of Three Cups of Tea, Greg Mortensen's mission was to provide, promote peace in Afghanistan, and he did it by sharing a meal with strangers. A simple piece of advice. Let's break bread together. Andrew Goss is athletic, sociable, daring, and bright. He's taught me it is hard to make the right decisions, right choices. So Andrew, a bend in the road is not the end of the road unless you fail to make the turn. By American poet Helen Steiner Rice. That's his pearl of wisdom. Katie Grant. It isn't the clothes that make the country girl, it's the attitude and heart. Although Katie does like, like her cowgirl boots, she has a love for family and country that shows up in her generous, caring, kind-hearted smile, even when she's having a bad day. Ryan Krasiv. Regardless of the position he held or the role he fulfilled, he performed it to the best of his ability. He's the one I want on my team for group work. So as Joe Namath said, if you're not going all the way, why go at all? <coughs> ben Campbell. Anytime I questioned Ben about getting assignments done, he would reassure me he had everything under control. Ben's advice is a combination of hard work and smart work is efficient work. Nick Carson. He describes himself as easygoing, ambitious, enthusiastic, loyal, and sincere. He likes having fun, and he worries about being bored. He's taught me that life consists not in holding good cards, but playing those you hold well. A quote by American humorist Josh Gummins. Alec Denninger is a student of history. He's sensitive, genuine, and fun, and he likes things that make him laugh. Mark Twain said, the human race has only one really effective weapon, and that is laughter. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we could bring about world peace with laughter? Morgan Deanne. Morgan will tell you she is loud. <laughs> And when she is undecided or skeptical and distrusts something, she will advise you to, when in doubt, sing loud. It gives her time to think and make up her mind. Brandon Doyle. Brandon came to school every day, did all his work, and he didn't participate in many class activities. However, the one day of the year he enjoyed over all the rest was tractor day. Brandon is going to be a farmer. His pearl of wisdom is, farmers farm for the love of farming. They love to watch and nurture the growth of plants. They love to live in the presence of animals. They love to work outdoors. They love the weather, maybe even when it is making them miserable. They love to live where they work and to work where they live. They love the measure of independence that farm life can still provide. Our father. Aria Dublin. Aria is active, dedicated, and likes basketball. And what I learned from her is, you miss 100% of the shots you never take. A Wayne Gretzky quote, you've got to try, if you don't try, you'll never win. <laughs> 